Okay, now take two of this. Uh, now that my phone's not ringing. Uh, Maiden Guy here doing a tutorial on separating line art from comic pages and... Actually, I don't know how to describe it. I'll word that in the uh, title. So, I have a um, scanned picture of one of my comic pages. Uh, main thing you're going to do here, if, if you have um, GIMP, which is a free program, you can just download that and open it up and open up your image in that. Um, go to the Colors menu and select Levels. Uh, you can mess around with the... if I can grab that... over here. With the uh, color levels or whatever floats your boat. Um, normally I just keep the gray at 1 and change this, the white to 200. But again, whatever floats your boat, whatever works better for your pages. Um, and you can fix up whatever you need to fix, like these random... I think those are eraser shavings. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure on that. But, um, and then... Also, you may or may not scan your images different sizes. Uh, I usually scan mine at 300 dpi or dots per inch or pixels per inch or whatever. Um, since I guess that's supposed to smooth out the line art when you shrink it down. Um, obviously that's not actually needed. Um, for some reason I just used the word needed instead of necessary, which normally I would have used the word necessary. I only avoid the word necessary when I'm writing because I always get confused on the spelling and I don't feel like looking it up in a dictionary. Um, <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so yeah, you have that. Um, yes, I say um a lot. So the f next thing you're going to do, you can fix up whatever other issues. I've already fixed all this up, though. I have a finished version already uploaded on the comic site, so it doesn't really matter here. Um, next thing you can do is, if you're actually coloring it, in instead of just leaving it like this, I'm doing hand gestures, I don't know why, uh, you can um, go to... well, you're going to actually need two layers first. Duplicate layer. You can change this to line art or line work or outline or whatever you want to change it to. Just layer one or leave it as background copy. I don't care. Uh, choose the background layer. Select all, edit, fill with background color or clear, whichever works. I don't know. I don't care. Doesn't really matter in the long run. Uh, at least I don't think it does. And select the line art layer and choose color to alpha in the colors menu and you'll see it'll do this so now you have a completely white background layer and a line art layer that's just the line art with a bunch of transparencies you can save that as a PSD file which is basically a Photoshop file I think anything I think most, if not all, image programs that can use layers can open those. Obviously GIMP can, and Paint Tool Sci, or Sci Paint Tool, or whatever it's actually called, which is the one I use. So you can save it as a PSD file, and do whatever else with it. I already have a PSD file, obviously, since I already did this. And I'm going to use Paint Tool Sci here for... Oh yeah, I should note, when you're using GIMP for this, uh, you can do... Photoshop, well, you can use Photoshop for this too, but Photoshop is like $700, so GIMP is the free alternative. Um, you'll notice that when you color, like with dark colors underneath the line art, if you look closely, you can see that you have a whole bunch of like colory pixels showing up that make it all ugly. So you can, um, you can mess around with the stuff here to try and make that all just black, but I'll admit I don't use GIMP enough to know how. So if you're using Paint Tool Sci like I am, although I would imagine if you're using GIMP, um, again, just mess around with these, mainly the hue, saturation, colorize, and brightness and contrast, and I guess color balance. Uh, normally I use Paint Tool Sci for it, so what I would do is find the, uh, let's 
So yeah, I choose this, open it up in whatever program, like I said, I'm using Psy. I like that one. Paint tool Psy, yeah, as it says up there in the thing. And under the filters option, <coughs> I choose hue and saturation and turn wrong layer. I choose um well you can use brightness and contrast or whatever, but I usually just use the luminescence under hue and saturation. Turn that all the way down. And so when you use a black a dark color, not just black, when you use a dark color underneath it, it doesn't show up as all ugly colored pixels and stuff. And so you have that. Um I think that's about everything. Um so there's also another tutorial I'm going to link to in the um in the description that is I get a little more detailed on this. So yeah. Um So yeah, that's about it, I think. Signing off for some weird catchphrase like that. <laughs>